what must have happened is that one pair of chromosomes must have gotten fused. So we should be able to look at our genome and discover that one of our chromosomes resulted from the fusion of two primate chromosomes. So we should be able to look around our genome. And you know what? If we don't find it, evolution is wrong. We don't share a common ancestor. So if, how would we find it? Well, biologists in the room will know that chromosomes have nifty little markers. They have markers called centromeres, which are DNA sequences that are used to separate them during mitosis, and they have cool little DNA sequences on the end called telomeres. What would happen if a pair of chromosomes got fused? Well, what would happen is the fusion would put telomeres where they don't belong in the center of the chromosome, and the resulting fused chromosome should actually have two centromeres. One of them might become inactivated, but nonetheless, it should still be there. So we can scan our genome, and you know what? If we don't find that chromosome, evolution's in trouble. Well, guess what? It's chromosome number two. Our chromosome number two was formed by the fusion of two primate chromosomes. Uh, this is the paper from Nature a little more than a year ago. And I put up a little of the paper. I'm sorry it's technical, but look at what it says. Chromosome two is unique to our lineage. It emerged as a result of the head-to-head -head fusion of two chromosomes that remain separate in other primates.